Hey guys, welcome to me reacting to SMO movie The DNA Test by Supervisor Logan. Now, I have not seen this, and I don't know what this video is going to be about. I think it's going to be about like a DNA test or something like that. And yeah, maybe it is. I don't really know, honestly. I. I don't really know, but uh, yeah, I I think I just want to say that I'm actually going to change up my editing style a little bit. Not too much, just just a little change, and I'm hoping it's not as annoying, you know, as like the past times where I've tried to do it, which not really great, because you know, I am ch uh, switching it up a little bit, and I think this is for, it's it's better. It's, it's definitely a little bit better. But yeah, anyways, guys, we're reaching to the description. Make sure to subscribe to Bowser Logan. So the description notes. Let's get right into it. All right, guys. You ready to play superheroes? Oh, yeah, dude. But I'm the Joker. I'm Batman. I want to be Batman. No, Cody. I'm always Batman. You have to be someone else. Be Robin. I don't want to be stupid, stinky, ugly, dumb Robin. Okay, well, then go choose someone. But you can't be Batman. Oh, uh, Junior, you have another Batman. We can both be Batman. We both can't be Batman, Cody. There's only one Batman. What? Yeah, that's against the rules, dude. Yeah, it's against the rules. Y yeah, we can I look? Hey, Batman, it's me, other Batman. No, you're one of those dumb Batmans that work on Times Square. What? Well, okay, Cody, look, we can both be Batman, but you're the uh, you're the Ben Affleck Batman. I'm Christian Bale. Well, I don't want to be Ben Affleck Batman. He was fat. <laughs> okay, well, then don't be Batman at all. Go be Mexican Superman. But, Junior, you always make me be Mexican Superman. Mexican Superman's the coolest. Yeah, Mexican Superman's awesome, dude. He always what? saves the day right in time to make it to his daughter's quinceanera. Yeah, he's so awesome. All right, let's get this over with. Okay. <laughs> wow, that's a stupid Mexican <laughs> stereotype. Joker, you can't but I guess Meeting Batman. Oh, well, you don't understand who I have as my secret weapon. Who? Come on, say your thing. <sighs> so you know Mexican Superman. <gasps> oh, no, not Mexican Superman with Batman. My two arch nemesis, I'm outnumbered. Yes, and you don't understand what he had up his sleeve. Say it. <sighs> hot plate. <gasps> not a hot plate. Oh, no, that's my weakness. Yeah, now hit him with the Baja Blast. <gasps> you. Oh, Baja Blast. Oh, I'm melting, I'm melting. And now you better get out of here before he gets the Gordito Crunch. Oh, not the Gordito Crunch! Yay, we saved the day! Is yeah. Joseph just out of the episode uh, now? Hold on. TV or something? Oh, yeah. Okay, no, he's uh, back. <sighs> Hey there, have you ever wondered if you are related to someone famous? Well, now you can find out. Just call me at 1-800-FAMOUS-DNA-TESTERS.COM and I'll personally come to your house and tell you who you're related to. You might okay, related okay, to I'll say that's videos. funny. That's Maybe a good joke. That's a good Maybe joke. Like Mixing a phone numbers with, you know, Ooh, websites, but like he doesn't actually know. That's funny. Person I'm related to. I don't know, Junior. That place looks like a scam. Yeah, I want to get tested too. Uh, I bet I'm related to Abraham Lincoln. Oh, that'd be so cool. I know, right? I bet I'm related to George Washington Carver. Ooh. Who's that? The guy who invented peanut butter, duh. Oh, well, why would you be related to him? Because he's smoother than peanut butter, duh. Yeah, Cody, who do you think you're related to? A dork? <laughs> Dr. Dork? Yeah, yeah, a uh, uh, Robert E. Dork? <laughs> Professor Dork with a degree? Uh, yeah, yeah, Ulysses S. Dork? <laughs> Captain Dork with the ship? Yeah, yeah, Elon Musk. Okay. Musk dork? Really driving <laughs> dork, this into the dork, ground. Yeah, I, Dorky. <laughs> My life as a teenage dork bot? Yeah. These are just TV shows. Uh, uh, a dork and Josh? <laughs> uh, I, Dorky? Oh, man, Dorky. <laughs> uh, ima dork's imaginary home for dorks? Yeah. Uh, uh, what's it called? Um, a cat dork? South uh, Dork? Uh, it's South Dork? Uh, family dork, uh, a cinnamon toast dork, uh, Rick and Dorky. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, do dorks, a bunch of dorks. Oh, ooh, ooh, uh, um, I got one. Uh, this, 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 the dork life of, of Zach and Dorky. Oh, on deck. On deck. On deck. On deck. Okay, I will get. The I get all these references, but I'm betting a majority of their audience does not get it. Dork. Hey there, somebody call a doctor to get DNA tested? Yeah, we saw the commercial and we want to do the test to see who we're related to. Oh, it's really fun. You never know who you'll be related to. Like I did it, and my great. -grand Grandmother was Amelia Earhart. Really? Yeah, Wait, is this yeah. ancestry? So good at hide and seek, and so bad at flying planes. I feel like this is to make fun well, at ancestry, which I too? honestly yeah. wouldn't mind because well, I don't like ancestry as much. Okay, so like I can spit in it? Yeah, sure, or whatever else. It doesn't really matter. Ooh, can I poop in it? Yeah, sure. Why not? Yes. Oh, I know what I'm putting in there. All right, so uh, after we put the stuff in there, then what happens? I just run no. it back to the lab, then I'll have your results by the next scene. Okay, I'm gonna spit in mine. Okay, <laughs> good. <laughs> good self-aware humor there. Guys, I can't wait for our test results to be ready. All right, your test results are ready. They're ready? Are they cool? Oh, they're cool. All right, Cody, we're gonna start with you. The most famous person you're related to is Thomas Edison. Whoa, no way, dude. Oh, that's so sick. Who 
am I related to? You. You're related to Neil Armstrong. Neil Armstrong, the first man on the moon. I knew I knew a lot about space. Whoa, an astronaut duel? Oh, I know it's so cool. For the guy who thinks the sun is a planet. Martin Luther King! Oh, 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 man, I always knew I had a dream. I dream every night. No, no, not quite, but close. Osborne Dorsey. Uh, who's that? He's the inventor of the doorknob. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I'm always good with, you know, turning doorknobs. Yep, you have fun with that information. Oh, this is so cool! All right, guys, can we just admit that I'm related to the coolest person ever, Neil frickin' Armstrong? No, Edison is cooler because he invented the light bulb. Oh, so is the rest of the episode just them no, arguing about Edison who's cooler? Admitted, somebody else would have invented the light bulb. Dude, the only way you would have been able to get inside your house today is because of my boy Dorsey. Well, no, because then Walmart invented those automatic doors. What? Yes, yeah, so we don't even need doorknobs. We don't even need him. See, 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 see. Neil Armstrong, he discovered. But the technically, moon. The moon. they wouldn't invent the automatic man. doors yeah, they if they didn't the have doorknobs to, to predecess it. That land. So he was the first person on the moon. So he discovered the moon, and he got there with his cool spaceship. He flew there, landed, he got out, and then he danced on the moon. Dude, he wouldn't be able to get out of his spaceship without a doorknob. Well, he wouldn't be able to see the doorknob without a light bulb. Well, he he wouldn't have been able to go to the moon if he would have discovered the moon in the first place. Dude, you use doorknobs for anything. No. No, no, you use light bulbs more because you use them every day. Uh, have you ever heard of a candle? Well, 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 well the, the moon lights up the sky at night. So, so, because without the moon, it would, uh... It would be, it would be well, no, Neil Armstrong did not light discover the moon. Light light the moon. He landed on it. You wouldn't even know it was nighttime until you opened the doorknob. Well, no, 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 you, would, you wouldn't know. Well, actually, there's windows. See, Bill Gates invented windows, so you could look out the window. So we don't even need Oh, my gosh. But without doorknobs, we wouldn't even have knock-knock jokes. Ha, that's better. Well, without light bulbs, you wouldn't even be able to see who was at the door to answer it. Well, without, without the moon, you wouldn't know it was nighttime, so you know not to answer the door because not, scary people come at night or fans who don't know the rules. So, so, so that. Yeah, yeah. And so Honestly, moon, Joseph and waves. Cody's and arguments waves, are way better than Junior's, though, to be fair. Like, he's just making up stuff up. up. So, so but, actually, like, you know what, they're I'm actually you, saying I'm stuff that's right. Because Thomas Edison got the idea for a light bulb by looking at the moon. Because he went outside and he said, ooh, I like that little light in the sky. Ooh, ooh I, I want to make one for my own. So he made a light bulb based on the moon. So I'm suing you. Yeah, yeah I'm suing you too, Cody, because there's no way Mr. Edison could make his light bulb without opening a door from Mr. Dorsey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, 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 so Cody, you owe Joseph money. Well, actually, Joseph, you owe Cody money because because without the light bulb, Dorsey wouldn't have been able to make a doorknob without light. Nah, 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 nah. We had candles, bro. We had candles. Oh, yeah, yeah, candles. Okay, so, so Cody, yeah, you owe both of us money. Well, I'm not giving either of you money. Well, we don't need your stupid this is dumb just light bulbs, stupid. Cody. Okay, I'll just take away all to the be light bulbs fair. in your house and see how you like it. We don't need them because we have the moon to light up everything. Nobody's going to need doorknobs then. Yeah, we don't need that either because I just have a door. I can just push the door open. I don't need a doorknob. That's dumb. I, I like Walmart automatic This doors. is going to end with the Crazy. test results being wrong yeah, you, I'm, I'm and just the that it's a scam. 100% it's going to be that reality. It's a huge mess. It's going to take forever to clean up. Wait, what happened to the lights? Oh, it must have been a power outage. Uh, hey, Chef PP. Wait, C Cody, what are you doing? Uh, do you know if there are any more light bulbs in the house? Wait, wait, wait. Why are you stealing our light bulbs? Oh, I'm not stealing these. I own these. My great-great-grandfather was Thomas Edison. Look, I don't care who your great-grandfather is. Put my light bulbs back. Tell that to Junior. You technically doesn't Edison own do them anything. because his great-grandfather, <laughs> like, invented them. And like done. I just finished my Apollo 11 oh. Lego sculpture. So I'm just like my great-great-grandfather, Neil Armstrong. Oh, that's cool. What happened to the light? But I'm just saying, like, he doesn't own them because his great-great-grandfather invented them because there's a patent to them by a certain light bulb company that makes them. I'm just saying that in reality, if this is real, if, you know, they could use that to defend the argument that they're not his. I didn't see any light bulbs on the Apollo 11. Yeah, that's great. Well, I'm going to just take all of these light bulbs back to my house where I'll have all the light. Well, well, when you're walking home, guess what's going to help you light up the streets when you get home? Uh, the moon. Well, there are also street lights. And guess what's in those street lights? Light bulbs! Well, well, you're dumb and, and stupid. Ugh, Joseph, get out of my way. Uh, 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 where do you think you're going? Home. Uh, home? Where? Through this door? You know you got to use this circular thing. What's it called again? A doorknob. Can I please use the doorknob? I guess so. For a thousand dollars, and if you praise my great granddad Dorsey. Well, I don't have a thousand dollars. Well, get an appraisal. A thousand dollars? What? Oh, now you want them. I thought. Wait, why is there price. also light well, there if the light lights are off? So they're technically mine now. Uh, look at that. I forgot one. Hold on. Well, oh, never mind. Don't do it. Oh, come on. <laughs> Okay, I guess. At least you can't get through the Guess that was kind of funny. Uh, yeah. Okay, Junior, I'm going out your window. Whoop, whoop, uh, peasant! 
So, so where are you going now, Cody? Peasant. Well, the whole walk home, you better not ever look up. If you ever look up at the moon, you owe me $100. Okay, fine. I don't want to look at the moon. I've seen it before. You better not ever look up. Don't look up. I'm not. Don't look up. Junior, I'm not looking at the moon. You better not look up. <sighs> Junior, are you going to follow me all the way home? Yeah, because I don't want you to look up at the moon because that's my moon. That's my great grandfather's moon. You can't See, look he at also it. doesn't own the moon either, it. but it's just it. stupid. Don't so why am I saying this? If there was a time to look at it, you should look at it now. It's the most beautiful full moon in the world right now. Oh, oh, Cody, look, there's a man on the moon. Junior, there's no man on the moon. There was. My great-grandfather, Neil Armstrong, he was on the moon. That was the man on the moon, the only man on the moon. And that's why I own the moon. And you better not look at it or you owe me $100. Junior, shut up. It's the most beautiful moon in the world. Like, if you want to look at it, you can pay me $100. I don't care, Junior. Like, this walk home would be so boring if you didn't have the moon right there. That big, beautiful moon brightened up the streets. Junior, I'm not looking at it. it but you better not look at it. You better not look at it. I'm not going to look at it. Are you sure? It's yes. So, so pretty. Okay, I'll let you look at it one time. No. I'll let you, for free, for free. You can look at it one time. No, I don't even want to now. Look at it for free, like one time. Shut up, Junior. Go away. Junior, you broke all my light bulbs. Well, they technically weren't your light bulbs. They were mine because I bought them. Junior, you owe me so much money now. Well, no, I don't. Be, just because you invented them. Well, yeah, mean, also I'm that. Like, I'm like, I'll sell you a piece of the moon. How about that? No, Junior, I don't care. I don't want to see you right now. Well, no, I'll, I'll sell you one piece of the moon if you stop getting mad. God, I can't stand Junior. I, I, uh, where do you think you're going, Wait, Cody? In my I gotta pause. I really gotta pause. It, it's just... This whole thing. I mean, because there's so many things that like, oh, well, technically you don't own those light bulbs because they're, you know, I bought them. But at the same time, that doesn't mean that you own the moon. It's just really stupid. It's just a stupid argument. Like, and I mean, I understand like, you know, this seems like an argument that, like, actual kids would have. Actual baby kids would have. Like, I understand that. Because it's just stupid. But the thing is, is that I feel like... I mean, I guess they are kids. But, like, at the same time, I feel like they would mature over the, you know, over the course of duration of... Just, but, I mean, there's no timeline in this. What am I talking about? All, honestly... Everything I'm saying right now is basically pointless because of the because of this episode being really stupid and pointless at the same time. Nothing really matters in this episode. It's all filler. It's all 100% filler. I know exactly how this is going to end. It is going to end with their tests being wrong because technically this is a parody of ancestry, but not really. I, what I mean by parody is like, oh, like, oh, get it? Like, Oh, check who you're related to. Like, oh, you're related to this person. Like, cool. Like, you know, because that's basically ancestry in the real, real world. But they couldn't, you know, say ancestry in that because that's technically, like, brand stealing. But, you know, I'm just mentioning that because it's a real thing. And it's technically, you know, I'm comparing it. But, like, that's really it. Because, honestly... This is just filler. This is just so much filler. Oh, in your house? Don't you think you have to use a doorknob? Well, well yeah, but J Joseph, this is ridiculous. This is my house. But this is my doorknob. A Dorsey doorknob. <sighs> okay, fine. I guess I'll use a window. <laughs> Get the climbing. <sighs> guess I'm just going to sit on my couch with no light. Well, you know what? I do have light. I have the moon. And it's just the, the roof is blocking the moon. You also have candles, buddy. I don't buddy. stupid dumb light bulbs. They're dumb. Hey, uh, wait, why is it so dark in here? Oh, my friend's great-great-grandfather was, uh, uh, the inventor of light bulbs, so he took all my light bulbs. Oh, yeah, about that. I have an important update about your DNA test results. Uh, can you here? get your friends back here? I can try, but they're really mad at me. Yeah, uh, just so you know, there's also a guy who's over by your front door charging people a thousand dollars to use his doorknob. <sighs> That's Joseph. Joseph, get up here! Get Cody! What is it, Junior? The doctor says he has to tell us something. What do you want, dude? <sighs> Cody, can we please have a light bulb just while you're here? Okay, but you only get one. <sighs> All right, doctor, what'd you have to tell us? Well, it uh, looks like the test results I gave you before were wrong. Wrong? Wait, I'm not related to Neil Armstrong? No. Well, well, well Cody's not really related to Thomas Edison? Nope. Well, well, Joseph's not related to Dorsey? No. Well, Wait. then who are we related to? Well, I got your real test results right here. Let's start with Joseph. You are related to Michelangelo. Oh, dude, that's awesome. I always wanted to be a Ninja Turtle. Oh, so now these are Super more expensive. fake. Yeah, it's Junior, just more fake you test are results. Related to Crush from Finding Nemo. I mean, that's still pretty cool. Like, oh, well, no, because they're turtles. Yeah, they're turtles. I forgot about that. You, Cody, are related to Vern from Over the Hedge. Vern? <laughs> Vern? Over the Hedge? Vern? 
<laughs> I wish I haven't seen that movie. Yeah, you guys, you guys have fun with that information. All right, guys. Do we even have to discuss who's related to the cooler turtle? Dude, it's me. I'm a ninja. No, it's me. He rode the East Australian Current. No one else did that. Well, I went over the hedge. <laughs> Went over the head. Uh, Vern. Vern. What type of name is Vern? Uh, give me my light bulb back, you oh, dork. God. Okay. Honestly, I do kind of like the ending a little bit. I will not actually. No, I don't. No, I don't. I don't like this video at all. <laughs> I don't. This was a bad video. This was bad. This was definitely bad. Filler 100% of the time. Knew exactly what was going to happen. I didn't expect them to be related to like turtles though. Like that was something I didn't expect and it makes sense now that I think about it. But yeah, honestly, not a good video. Not a good video. No, this was bad. This was really bad, honestly. Because it, like, it was just bad. It was just bad. Yeah, there was like... Because it was just the whole argument. It was just filler. There was a stupid, like, oh, I own this because my ancestor created it sort of thing. Which is, was so dumb and unneeded, honestly. It was just really dumb. The, honestly, none of the characters came off as likable in this at all. But, yeah, a lot of the stuff I said just didn't really add anything because the, the this whole thing is pointless. Like, I don't need a plot... I don't need to apply these things to the episode because it's just completely pointless and that's really it. That's why I think this video is bad. It is bad. 100% it is bad. There were only a couple jokes that actually made me chuckle. The phone number one with the email or the website, that was actually like the only funny joke in the episode. Honestly, this was not a good video. This was really annoying. This was really a pain to get through. And that's just my opinion. So if you enjoyed this episode, that's fine. That's totally fine, honestly. But it's just... Wow, this was not really a good episode in my opinion. But uh, yeah, anyways, guys. So enjoy the bike videos coming. See you on the next one. Bye!